Hello and welcome to Access 2013 Tutorials. In this video I'm going to be talking you through navigation forms. Uh, so if you want to play along, follow the link below the video to the download section of the website and download Access 2013 DB11 and then open that one up. Okay, so in the last couple of videos uh, we were making a data sheet and now what we're going to do is make a navigation form to house the data sheet. So what is navigation form? Well, if you go to the create tab um, and go to forms, you've got a little drop down box called navigation forms and this lists all the different types of navigation forms. I'll just click on the first one horizontal. The idea of a navigation form is that you um, have buttons that go along here in this particular style of navigation form. And as you click on them, you open up different forms below. And the reason Microsoft decided to include the concepts of navigation forms was because they were moving to a web-based um, design and so they've now created this thing where you've got your client copy of access which links to SharePoint tables and you've also got these web forms that can open up in a web browser um, and for whatever reason they decided that the uh, navigation form style which is I suppose similar-ish to a, a browser was the most appropriate as it happens, happy accident, I quite like the functionality of the navigation form anyway. And even though I don't make many web databases at all, I do use navigation forms a lot. I've, they're almost becoming the only form I actually do use. So how do they work in terms of actually creating one? Well, there is some issues with navigation forms in terms of how you get the buttons to open up the forms you want and but I'll be explaining that one as we go over the next couple of videos the first thing I'm going to do is close this and I'm not going to save it because we have a data sheet and when you create a navigation form you actually need to create uh, a kind of intermediary form between a navigation form and a data sheet you don't really I mean you can drop a data sheet in there but you don't really want to just drop a data sheet in there so the first thing we need to do is create an intermediary form which we're just going to call form rooms for the data sheet for rooms so let's close that and an easy way of doing that is to click on table rooms click on create and click on form and the reason I do it this way is that I get the nice bar across the top and the only thing I'm going to do or a couple of things I'm going to do I'm going to change that to say rooms and I'm going to leave that I'm going to click on this little cross here, highlighting everything down there, and I'm going to delete all of that. I'm going to press F4. Um, I'm going to make sure it says form up here on the property sheet. And I'm going to get rid of the navigation buttons and the record selectors. Um, I'm going to uh, go back to form. I'm going to go to data, and I'm going to delete table room so now basically we've just got a blank form but it's got a nice-ish header on the top um, and we are going to click on arrange and click insert below and insert below again only with these actually that's a bad idea click Z um, let us go to design and drop a button down here just to create the uh, data sheet in fact let's drop a couple of buttons I'm not going to show you how to use them in this video I'll do that in the next video so let's drop four buttons and let's also click insert below so we've now got a row that goes on below and over here insert right click and drag this all the way and actually insert below once more. Okay, so click on the empty row, not the one directly below the button, but the row after that. Select row, merge, and just drag it down. And now we're gonna click on design, and we're gonna click here, and we're gonna put a subform container in. I'm gonna click here and delete that, and delete that. Okay, so we've now got a header with rooms. We've got four buttons. Um, and we've got a subform container. Press F4. Now the name of the subform container is child64. Go to other and just change it to DS. And save this and call it form rooms. And in the subform container, this is where we're actually going to put the data sheet. In order to put the data sheet here, you go to data 
and source object is form dot form room sorted sending ds so now we've housed our data sheet in the intermediary form so save that and close that uh, and we're going to go create navigation form and the style navigation form i'm going to use is vertical tabs to the left and i'm going to actually get rid of the header so i don't want it i'm going to save it call it form main press f4 We'll change the caption to say main. So now here in the tab, we see main instead of form main. And we're gonna find the form we just made, form rooms. And we're just gonna click it and we're just gonna drag it over to here. Notice where that pink bar is at the top of the add new button. Let go and it drops that form into there. Um, we will probably want to just click here and just Press in the left arrow, just move everything over to the left and move everything up a little bit. Okay. And double click in the button so you can change the name to simply rooms. And if we go to form view, we can now see we've got one button and we've got one form, we've got one data sheet um, called rooms. And this is the idea of navigation forms. And what we're going to do is we make the databases. We're going to make different forms for different things. For example, we're going to do pretty much exactly the same that we've done with rooms. We're going to do it for guests. And then there'll be a different button below here that says guests. And as you click on it, you'll be able to change between the two. Um, so that's it for this video. In the next video, I'm going to be showing you what you can actually do with these buttons because you can uh, do some interesting things with buttons located on the intermediary form. Okay, so that was a basic look at um, navigation forms and hope to see you in the next video.